have to, as a quarterback coach and as a coordinator and as a staff. I mean, it's not it's not just about the quarterback room. There's there's other strengths of the offense, right? And so you want to ride those, and those will complement everything else. And we all know that the better you run the football, the easier it is on everybody, right? So defense doesn't know you're throwing it, and then now you can be more balanced and you could be unpredictable. And that's the name of the game. You have to be unpredictable. It's, it's when, it de- when, all, when the defense understands and, and, and knows where your tendencies lie, and you're, you're, you're one-handed, and that's, that's not good offense. I think the, the most important thing that you can do is, is attack the defense um, where they're most vulnerable. And yes, you have to play to a, your strengths offensively, but the old adage is you have to take what the defense gives you. I mean, if there's too many guys in the, in the, in the front, and we have seven blockers and they have eight defenders lined up at the line of scrimmage. The numbers and the averages and the analytics say throw the football. And I get that, and we will. But there's also part of it that says, to heck with analytics, let's get the ball to our best players and let's see if they can make the extra guy miss or run through the extra guy. And you know, th- those are things that you want to try to do as an offense to where you're playing to your strengths from a personnel standpoint and not getting too over, you know, analytical and, and stuck in that and let that dictate your play calls or how the game flows. There has to be a little bit of um, instincts as, as just understanding your people and putting your guys in best position to win.